Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this puzzle, Wild Indigo by Wisteria Fall, by using XY chains. Not only will I show you how to use the XY chains, but where to find them, and there's a bonus extra advanced strategy I'm going to use at the end of this puzzle to help crack it. I think you're going to love it. You're going to want to watch all the way to the end because that last strategy is the most important. Click below if you want to give it a go. And with that, it's solving time. So I have solved this puzzle before. This is going to be part of my Setter Spotlight series. So I'm going to feature four puzzles this month by Wisteria. Uh, very excited about these. You're going to love these puzzles. So you probably notice across rows and columns two and eight, there's a lot of already given digits. So that's going to be one of the keys to solving this puzzle. So let's fill in those remaining digits there because this is some telegraphing that Wisteria is doing for you here. So that can't be a one and we look good there. We come down this way, it looks like a two, three, four. So we'll fill in the two, three, four there. Can't make any other restrictions across this way, two, three, four. And this can't be a two. And if you come up here, looks like a one, three, four. You already got a three, so that's a one, four. All right, other thing to keep in mind, and you wanna notice, we are setting this puzzle up to solve it. So you wanna look at uh, hidden pairs next. Do we have some pairs? And so maybe you'll notice there's a 7-9 right here and a 7-9 right there. And so a 7-9 has to be up here in row 7 in block 9. And so there's only two spaces remaining. That is a hidden pair 7-9. That's the only two places is a 7-9 can be, so it can't be any other uh, digit in those two cells. All right, another one is 5-2 here and 5-2 here. And then the 5-2 here coming across row 6 means the two and the five are limited to these two cells. This is helpful, all right? This is gonna help us solve and figure out uh, what to do in this puzzle. So you need those two hidden pairs. And then there's another cool pair, but it's not a hidden pair, it's a naked pair. And you'll wanna focus along column nine to solve this. This will get us some digits. Notice how there's a one and nine right here and you have a two, five, six, seven right there. Okay, and you got a three coming up. So this has to be a four or an eight up here in row one. But if you come down to row four, one, six, seven, and the nine, very similar to what's up in here and in row one, you got the three, five, you got the six here. So we can actually notice that a four, eight is limited this cell as well. Well, this fall, this forms a naked pair. Since the four and eight are limited to those two spots in column nine, uh, four and eight have to be in those, those two spots. So four and eight can't be anywhere else along column nine. This is good stuff for us because it's going to allow us to do some solving. And where is the solving going to take place? I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, let's get rid of those colors. Let's get back up there. Now what you want to notice is um, you'll want to notice coming down this column nine. So we got now a two, a three, five, four, eight. So you look for a one, six, seven, nine. Well, if you come down here, row nine, column nine, one, seven, and nine are feeding in there. Two, three, four, five, eight are already in the column, right? Because this four, eight, four can't be anywhere else. You can solve this for a six. This is good. This is key. And then this creates a three, four, uh, naked pair, but now we have a six in there, and this is good. So seven, nine, what's remaining is this is going to be a, a naked triple of a one, seven, nine. And so I'll put that one, nine there. And But what you'll notice here too is we can actually do some more solving. Now that we have figured out this four, eight naked pair, check out where this eight comes across in row six. And we have this two, five hidden pair right here. So where can an eight be here in block six? It has to be in this spot. So we can actually solve that for the eight and solve that for the four. And we're gonna be able to create some more solves here. This is great stuff. All right, and then down here, what we have left is a four, seven. So what you end up with is there's a one, seven, a one, four, seven, naked triple right here. The ones are restricted to row five. So this is gonna create a pointing pair of one. So the ones point across, they can't be anywhere else along row five because they are restricted to these two cells here in block six, which means ones have to be in one of those spots right there. This is gonna come into play as we're moving on this puzzle because you're creating some good restrictions here. Something else I wanna point out 
is look at where the nines can be in rows five and six. And you'll notice that a nine can only be in one of those two spots here and only one of those two spots there. Okay, this is good stuff for us. Um, other thing you want to do is just kind of want to look and go, uh, this can only be a three and an eight, and then this can be a one, three, eight, nine. All right, the eights are limited to those two spots in uh, block three, so they're limited to row seven. So it kind of makes them a claiming pair. All right, we've set up some really good stuff. You're like, okay, Timberlake, you said X, Y chains. I don't see any X, Y chains. We're getting there. I'm creating a bunch of buy value cells, and we're setting the framework. This is helping create that framework. So stay tuned. This is getting really exciting. It actually reminds me of another puzzle that I'm going to put a link to at the end by a different setter that kind of does this nice setup of all these buy value cells to create uh, some advanced solving strategies. So I'll put a link to that at the end. Stay tuned. You will want to check that video out as well. Okay. Now that we're here, what you want to look at is let's look across what can be in these cells. Uh, you'll notice you got a one, six, seven, eight, nine. It can be a two, three, four, five. And you want to eliminate the two from there. And then from here, you already have the five. So you can get rid of those five. And what you might notice is now we have a two, three, four naked triple. Okay, that's important. But even we can actually do one further than that because we now have enough information here to apply an advanced strategy. And it's not, it actually is an XY chain, but it's the simplest form of an XY chain, and which is an XY wing. Okay, so. A little definition time, an XY chain is when you have a series of by value cells that use strong and weak links to connect together and helps you make some eliminations. Uh, if we start right here, you go, okay, this cell either is a four or one. If it's not a four, it'd be a one. If that was a one, this would be a three and this would be a four. So you either have a four here or a four there. So any cell that sees both of those, you can eliminate a four. So this cell right here, we can eliminate a four. This is an XY chain. When you have three cells that create the XY chain and it has this pattern of uh, three different digits, the one, three, and the four, that's an XY wing. And it's the shortest form of an XY chain. So here's your pivot and here's your pinchers. And this is how it's always set up. You got to have one cell that sees the other two. And like I mentioned, a four is going to be in this blue cell or this blue cell. So you can eliminate a four from that cell right there. So this is awesome. I love how Wisteria put this in here. And this is just the first advanced strategy, the simplest form of XY chain. We have another one. So stay tuned. And the next one is going to be even better. All right, let's get rid of some of these colors because what that did for us is it helped limit these fours that are part of this naked triple to row four up here in block four, all right? So this has to be two, three, four. The fours have to be now contained in block four to row four. So we can eliminate this four right here. That's a pointy pair, all right? Nice. So now the four can't be here anymore and that's gonna be important. And so now we wanna change our focus down where we have some more restrictions, which is here in row six. So we have a two, three, five, six, eight. We're missing a one, four, seven, nine. So this cell right here, you think could be a one or a four because you have the seven, nine there, but we just restricted those fours up here. This can no longer be a four. This has to be your one because you have the seven and nine right there and the four uh, has to be uh, limited to those spots up there. Great, so we can eliminate that one and now we're looking for four, seven, nine. You got the nine here, or excuse me, the seven right there. So that would be a four or a nine. And then right here, you'd have a four. Oh, but that can't be a four either, can it, right? Because the four is limited up there. You can actually solve this cell for your nine. And now because we knew the nines were limited, those spots, we can solve that right there. See how that works? I marked all that in there because I remembered that they all play together. This is good stuff. And now if you look in the remaining part of this cell, two, three, four, naked triple here, you got a six, eight remaining. Here's your eight. So you can actually solve this for your eight and that for your six. This is great. 
Okay, we're not done yet. We're now getting to the part where we can start looking for this nice XY chain. And this is a really cool XY chain. This is the one that you will need to make some significant progress in this puzzle. And you think it's gonna crack the puzzle. It doesn't crack it, but it opens it up, makes it nice and wide open, and it's, it's wonderful how Wisteria put it there. Again, all this telegraphing is telling you, you need to kind of look through these rows and columns that have most of the cells filled in. So let's start right here. We want to eliminate uh, a digit across row two, because think about right here. If we can, we know a three's in there. If we can get rid of the one or the four, then we would be able to limit and solve either one of these cells, right? Because if the one wasn't here, you could solve this for one. If the four wasn't here, you could solve that for a four. So can we push into this cell and figure it out? And the answer is yes, we can. And it starts with an XY chain. And I'm going to do some nice coloring here, all right? These are the cells we want to focus on, these five cells. And I'll color them up. Let's do a nice purple. So strong and weak links, what that means is a strong link means that this is not a four. If this is false, then the other must be true. So if this is not a four, that has to be a seven, right? So either this cell is a, set, a four, and then this cell right here wouldn't be a four. Or if it's not a four, this would be a seven. This would be a four. This would be a one. This would be a three. And this would be a four. So either a four is here or it's here. That is an X, Y chain. And it works really nice. It's like a strong link here, weak to here, strong to here, weak to here, strong to here, weak to here, strong to here. And so you go weak and strong links. And if you're like, Tim, like, I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Uh, then I want you to go check out my X, Y chain tutorial. It's very popular. And I break this all down, how the links work, how the logic works. You're going to love it. And I'll put the link there right here so you can check that out. But basically, you can eliminate a four from this cell. This can no, cannot be a four because the four has got to be here or here. And I just proved that. What's nice is we can actually take this same X, Y chain into another direction. This is beautiful stuff. If we get rid of the three, four here and you start here, you can make another X, Y chain. So this could be a four. If it's not a four, that's a seven. That's a four. That's a one, that's a three, and then come down here to this cell, and then that would be a four. So now a four is either here or here, another X, Y chain, double X, Y chain, which means this cell cannot be a four because it sees both this start cell and end cell of this X, Y chain. I love this. I love it. And now you're like, okay, Tim, like you showed me all the X, Y chains. I'm good. I can click off now and solve it. No, there is another advanced strategy you've got to pay attention and keep watching because we're not out of the woods yet. We're gonna do some great solving right now, but we're not gonna completely crack this puzzle. And so when you try it on your own, you get stuck, you're gonna to wanna to come on back. So just watch it right now and just get it over it because I'm gonna show you how to get through the rest of this amazing puzzle. Okay, so now you have this one three and the one three here, this has to be a four right there. And so I'll get out of color mode, which I like to do and go boom. That has to be a four. This is no longer a four. Now you have this two, three here and two, three here. Means the two and three, you learn limit those two spots. This has to be your four. That's your one. That's your three. That's your one. Okay, let's see how other solving you do. Because you got this three right here. Here's your eight. And you get rid of the three and the eight. And you got a one, nine. What else great solving can we do? All right, I got this four, so that means that has to be your three right there. And then with this one, you got this seven, four, seven. And it looks like it's all just nice and easy now, right? Because we got this nine, seven, one, nine. We're solving all of these cells and we're doing a great job of it. So if you stay with me this long, you've been doing a great job. Keep it up. And we can do even some more solving, seven, seven, seven seven here whenever you have four sevens going into the same block you know you're going to be able to solve that so we can solve that for a seven and then with the eights eight 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 boom you can solve this for an eight and so you're like okay tim like don't need you this is easy we're doing great you're going to get stuck again and so i'm going to show you the last cool neat strategy advanced strategy that will completely unlock this puzzle and it is not an xy chain it is actually an empty rectangle and hopefully you are familiar these are really cool simon anthony he features those quite a bit on 
Kraken and Cryptic. Uh, and this is how it works. It's with these threes here. We're going to be able to make some eliminations because of an empty rectangle. So the empty rectangle shape is right here. And I call it slice and dice. You need two sets for this. Basically, you need a shape where you can slice or dice with exactly one column and one row that goes through this block and eliminates all those candidates. So you could come up column five and you go through row five and you eliminate all the threes here in block five. All right. Now you want to come down and then the other part is you need some kind of strong link. So two cells that are connected to one of these, either the row or the column of block five. So if you come down here, you see there's a three and there's only two threes available in row eight. One here and one here. And then what you can do is you can actually eliminate whatever, you can eliminate that three, that candidate from whatever cell sees the opposite of the row or the column and the end of our two cell uh, chain here. So you come down here, you cut across, you come on up. And so wherever this row meets this cell, you can eliminate a three from there with confidence. And why can we eliminate a three from right here? Just think about if a three is any of these spots, what would happen? If a three is right here, then one of these has to be a three and you can eliminate the three from right there. If the three is one of these two spots, you can eliminate a three from right there. So that's how the empty rectangle works. Hopefully you see how that works. If you need some more help on empty rectangles, I actually have another tutorial. I'll put a link to it. My empty rectangle tutorial is quite popular. I've had for uh, quite a long time. And it'll help you figure out how to find these shapes and how to make some great solves with empty rectangles. This is key. You got this one. Now we are going to hopefully get to the much easier strategies. I'll get this through the rest of this puzzle. Because now we know this has to be your two. This has to be a three. This has to be a two. Okay. This has got to be a five and that's a two. See how that's all working out for us. We can get rid of these extra twos right there. Now he looks at, okay, Timberlake, where are we going here? We got these fives eliminated. means that has to be your five. And so now we can start looking in some of these cells where there is more restrictions. All right. So you got two and a two here means this has to be a two now we're starting to fill in some more blocks this is good stuff but you want to keep watching because this is the part where you can get a lot faster and a lot more accurate in your solving you don't want to mess up any of this solves as you get to the end here because then you might think you've broken the puzzle and think that you're in the wrong path but you're going to be on the right path if you follow me all the way to the end here and remember i got a link to another great puzzle that you're all going to want to check out that reminds me of this, but takes in a different direction. It's going to be twice the fun in solving as you got right here. This is great. All right, so you got this two, 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 and this two means we can solve this for two down here. And I think we got rid of all the twos. All right, what else do we have up here? It looks like we got a three and a six. Uh, can we solve that? Not the three and a six, but we can solve this for a four, which makes this a three and makes this a four. Nice. And then with the threes and the fours, what can we do? Okay, with this three now, we can solve this for a three and this for a six. And then with this three down here and the threes in columns five and six, this has got to be a three. Uh, with the sixes coming down and the six here, this has got to be a six. So we took care of the sixes. We have what's called a full house. Always want to solve those when you see them. So that's got to be a five, which means this has to be five because it can't be any of those two spots looking good and then what's left here we're looking for a one and a four i see the one so this has got to be your one that's got to be your four and we can get rid of the rest of those marks that four and a three and we come up here and we're missing two spots uh, always want to look where it's easier for your eyes to make the the double solve there so we need a three and a five i see the three so here's three here's your five you see i'm, I'm kind of doing a localized scan and it's helping me solve I'm missing a one down here in block eight. So that's got to be your one. And the last digit is a four. So you think you got X, Y chains all figured out? Well, check out this other puzzle that takes that idea in a whole different direction. You're going to love it. Thank you so much, Wisteria, for letting me feature your puzzle on this channel. I'm looking forward to featuring the other puzzles of your in my Setter Spotlight series this month. It's going to be great. Don't forget, I have a Buy Me a Coffee link below. Check it out. Support the channel so I can give you more great content. Thank you so much for watching.